Hey everyone, this is Sal from Geek.com and we're doing another Crisis Benchmark this time uh, with custom settings so uh, texture is very high object, shadows, physics, medium shaders high, volumetric medium, game medium, post processing I'm going to put on high, particles are on high, water is very high, sound medium the uh, game is going to be running at 1920 by 1080 with 8x AA and uh, the GPU benchmark so get this going I was just a game comrade trying to install that crap on your system I don't know why they let them do that but they do so it's just to be loading up now so we'll just give it a second uh, it's taken a little bit longer than you might expect because the X505 has a 64 gigabyte SSD for boot, but we're playing off the 500 gigabyte disk because the SSD is nearly full. Okay, benchmark is starting up now, and uh, yep, there you go. So uh, the goal of this benchmark is to uh, have uh, tweaked settings to uh, something that you would want to play through the game on. Last time, uh, well, the first two tests we ran it at all very high. We got about nine frames per second. Then on all high, we got about uh, I think it was 13 frames per second. And then we ran it through all medium and uh, got a great, you know, I think uh, 36 or 37 frames per second. But the game really looked like crap. Uh, this time we tweaked the settings a little bit. And uh, still playing at full screen, and you can see how quickly it's moving or averaging about, I don't know, 30 frames per second. Maybe a little bit more than that. But anyway, uh, yeah, it doesn't look quite as good as I'd like it, so I'd probably tweak this a little bit more, even though the texture is on. Uh, we'll, get, we'll see everything in a second. Texture was on very high, but. Uh, at the time we averaged uh, 31.45 frames per second, which is uh, which is pretty nice, and that's the uh, you know what I would call a playable level. Uh, you know maybe we'd want to increase some of the other settings, uh, maybe shadows if you're uh, that's important to you, and uh, objects turn those both both up to high. Uh, which the game looked okay, it didn't look great, but uh, we did get the nice frame rate. Anyway, check back on the uh, the previous. Uh, previous videos for a little bit more commentary on this benchmark. Anyway, this is Sal from Geek.com with the Toshiba X505. Thanks for watching.